Hey guys, welcome to data structure using Java. I am Ripon Dotto. Today I am going to show you how to use list as array list. So, a list is an ordered collection. List may contain duplicate elements. So, positional access manipulates elements based on their numerical position in the list, such as get method, set method, add, add all, and remove. Search you can use index of or last index of and iteration extends iterator semantics and range view to take sublist method. You can use sublist method to take a sublist from the list. So now let's get started with Eclipse. Alright, so file menu new project project name list as array list okay right click new class and say list implementation or whatever you want I need the main method finish okay so list generic data type in this case I want to use a string or you can use integer or whatever you want in my case I want to use a string as list subject equal new array list string and constructor method okay so you have to import java.util dot list java.util dot array list or you can use simply nester that's it so you are looking that this is a string type Similarly, it should be string type. Okay, now list subject control space, then it will populate at let's say C programming list subject at C. List subject dot add let's say Java. So this is the add method. Now I want to print out. There are a couple of ways you can print. I will show you three different ways. First of all, I want to show you how to use for each loop for a string item is to list subject as my list is the string type that's why my item should be string okay now print out sys out then press control a space item run the project you know this is a sequential ordered list that's why C++ uh, I mean C programming and C++ then Java now I want to show you I want to show you how to use add all method so list is also a string sub list you can say or another list list another equal new array list string and constructor so list another dot add equal 
let's say HTML CSS JavaScript and so on for example then I want to add list subject dot at all at all then your list so in this line this list I mean this list will be added in this list so I have to use add all so run the project yep HTML CSS JavaScript so there are another constructor you can use you can see uh, which is this one you can use index so from here it will be inserted insert all the elements in the specified collection into this list at the specified position let's say I want to insert after 1 that means this is 0 then this position from 1 position so yep C programming then HTML CSS JavaScript then C++ and Java so it looks like an insert method okay now let's see another way how to print it integer size list subject or size then for loop i equal 0 i less than size i plus plus this out list subject dot get then index now print out yep okay so then there are another way we can print using iterator so iterator string type list subject dot list iterator so you have to use import java dot util dot iterator so while it has next it dot next print so yep so we can print it out now I want to show you how to charge in a list so let's say string charge item equal C++ so index equal list subject dot index of you know it will return the index of the first occurrence of the specified element or minus one if it does not exist so index of source item then print index let's see C++ is in the fourth position 0 1 2 3 4 ok so if this is not exist like say C sharp 
then it will return minus 1 all right then I want to show you how to get a sub list so list string temp equal list subject dot sub list so in the sub list there are two parameter from index and to index returns a view of the of the portion of this list between the specified from list inclusive and to list exclusive so sub list let's say 2 5 2 to 5 that means 2 3 4 then again it equal tem dot list iterator then while it has next print it dot has next I mean next then print it yep 2 to 5 that means this is 0 1 2 then 3 4 5 but it will not be because 2 index inclusive so 2 to 4 2 3 4 that's it there are some more methods like contains let's say boolean is exist equal list subject dot contains let's say search item this one so it will return boolean true or false if exist then sysout item exist else this system out does not exist so on the project C++ is exist or let's say this is C sharp C sharp does not exist all right so this is a list implementation as array list I hope it will help you to extend your list implementation knowledge thank you very much for watching this tutorial if you like this tutorial don't forget to subscribe this channel and don't forget to share this video and please make a positive comment in the comment box so see you in the next tutorial till then bye bye